have you had any difficulties working in the music industry and being LGBT or experiencing anything, any, any discrimination, any biases, anything like that? Well, I kind of, I'm more on the business side of it. Okay. So, be, with it being a male-dominated business, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's kind of tough. From, yeah. uh, I would say nothing past the a, initial meet. Yeah. You know, that very first time is sometimes awkward. Yeah. You know, but everything else is pretty much know-how in business. So, you know, sometimes you get those people that kind of get you sideways until you open your mouth. You know, and then, and then they, you know, begin to say, okay, well, yes, you know, we have undeniably great material. Um, <laughs> so, do you offer any other services to any upcoming artists who may want to get in contact with you all that can uh, further their career? Well, yes, actually, because uh, I do a lot of career consulting for young artists. So, if there's anyone out there that's looking to further their career, uh, learn more about their music and how to actually get into a commercial platform, um, I can be reached at 901-236-3302 between the hours of 8 and 5, Monday to Friday, but social media, AJ King, Facebook, and IG, AJ underscore King underscore 901, so they can just uh, leave an email or, you know, drop some material or, you know, whatever they need to do to get to me, but I'm definitely out there helping young other artists. In the words of Big Red, my office hours are nine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Brad here. So you are you mentoring anybody right now? You looking for some mentees? Are you looking for anybody to join your team? I mean, we're always open to that, you know. So uh, I mean, hey, you know, we're always open to that. How can I get in contact with you? Once again, Red Hits Music, uh, Instagram, Red Hits. Uh, Everything is red hit, so I'm easy to find. I made it easy to figure out the thing. And, and I just want to say something. AJ King is the dopest manager. I just, <laughs> she is just so dope. I'm for real. I mean, she got it going on. So I really think so. The, the business that you do, you are absolutely Oh, uh, stop with all the mushy stuff. That's my bestie. <laughs> my bestie better than yours. Uh, hey, I also want to shout out to uh, Kino Stacks. She's yes. actually going to be uh, dropping a new power sink uh, coming up in about two weeks, the first of August. So you guys uh, stay tuned for Kino Stacks Power Tech. Absolutely. Super dope. And we, we like that. Love some talent in Memphis uh, up and coming. Uh, people of color getting out there and, and, and getting into mainstream and doing their thing. I've been seeing you uh, going around the, the South. You're on the chitlin' circuit. performing <laughs> at all these pride events. What's going on with that? <laughs> And we, we, you know what I'm saying, we're always going, you know, like I'll we'll be in Miami uh, next week. I love so it. We'll, we'll be What's going in. on in Miami? We'll, we'll be pumping, she'll be single again, ferocious, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? We, we, we're promoting, we're pushing, we're moving, we're sweating, we're working. That's okay? good. That's <laughs> good. Absolutely. I know you uh you, you came down to Tri State Black Pride. Oh I love and it. And performed for Tri State oh, uh, Girls. And you did your thing down there. Glad. That takeover was something else, but yes. We did that. Yes, yes. yes. I yes. had so much fun. We turned up. We turned yes. up. That yes. takeover was something else. Then I looked up, I saw you in Nashville Pride before. Oh yeah. Come oh, on, man. man. Go oh, do yeah, your yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Mac Huffing too. Yeah. We, we had a great time. We just, you know, we're, we're, we're traveling. We're, we're moving all around, you know. We keep up north, Nick. Hey, let me know. I've got some connections for you. Uh, oh. We got um, about, what, how many, about 10 minutes now? Uh-huh. So we still holding on to this Stiller's, to Stiller's case. What's Stiller Nation there? Stiller Nation, Stiller Girl, stand up, baby. I know you want this compact case. I don't, I don't know. But she can't get a cowboys away. I'm, 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 that's why we give it away because it, it can't be in our house. It can't be in our house. So we got a compact case for one of you Stiller girls. It's, it's beautiful, bleed out. Uh, it's, it's about a twenty-five dollar value. I got a uh, one Q Dimple custom kick. She donated it to the radio show. Also, we're gonna do. Um, I got my barber to donate a haircut. <laughs> Back to school. Right. He can't cut. Yes, he can. Y'all got a bowl on y'all head. Isaac's going to cut y'all a bowl. My, my barber, Isaac, donated a haircut for a little boy. Back to school haircut. So, hey, it's, it's some mama out there that might need a little help. Maybe a little financially challenged. So, I, I said, hey, dude, you got to give back. 
give me a free hair clip. So he's like, okay, I'll do it. What did it like Roscoe on Martin? Hey, they're gonna have to go somebody to get it straight now. <laughs> I see, he's, he's a good dude. He cut good. I bet your mama won't get one. Now, what's the number? Can they call it to get this free cut? 901. Uh huh. 260-5926. Uh -huh. You're a bit. You got to be the night caller to call in. We got about 10 minutes left on this radio show. So, last question for you. Can you tell us, like, in your dream, a dream, because, you know, you got a dream. You, you know, you got a dream. You got to have a child of a mind. What artist would you just really love to kind of collaborate with? Man, there's so many of them. I only get one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll give you two. We'll give you two. Yes. Do Dolly Parton. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Dolly, Dolly got money. Hey, that thing might go somewhere while y'all play it. Dolly, if you're listening, we love you. We love you, Dolly. We love you. So, you're tied to over here to uh, the Running Force Magazine radio show. Really. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I say Young and Mike. She's one. Ooh. I mean, she's dope. And yeah, she's so dope. That's a good idea. Idea. Okay, keep talking. Uh, I'm listening. The weekend. The weekend. We're, we're both on weird levels like this. So oh, I think weekend. we would really, you know, do awesome writing songs together. I really do. I don't know about you. Well, I just listened to gospel music. I have no idea who the weekend is. I like wow. it. Like, seriously. What? I don't. I don't. I, I'm, I'm out of sacred music. That's real. I can't. Hey, every now and then, my, my, my station might change. I'm not, I'm not just holy rolling now, but I just, you know, gospel had me going. Ain't no wrong with that. You should do a gospel song. And you know what? It, it's funny you say that because somebody came to me and they was talking about gospel. And I was like, you know what? I have never written a gospel song. And, and I think I owe the Lord that And And actually, it, it would be a, a, a homage, like, to you, you to write it, especially being a queer. Yeah. To the love it, yeah, and still put God in your music. Oh, yeah. People don't think that you know we're entitled to God. So oh, hey, I would love to hear that. Oh, man. I, would, I would love to hear that. I would love to hear that. You know what? That's, a that. That's a vibe. Get That's a vibe. You can talk about God. Hey, talk about love. Oh, it's a vibe. It's a <laughs> wonderful thing he's done to me. Absolutely. <laughs> I so, love it. Hey, you know we want to give y'all a few minutes, like a couple minutes. Y'all already jumped in and did the shout out. Y'all got to put the, put the cart in front of the horse. So we're we'll going to do it again and give you a chance to, uh, you know, uh, thank some people, give a shout out to your friends and, and your girlfriend. You know, you got a girlfriend? Uh, actually, I'm single like a prank. You're single? But I'm always <laughs> married. <laughs> Got a lot of support there, my family, my dad, hey dad, 
uh, my brothers, Tony and uh, T Love, my sister, Nashville. Uh, it's just everyone that's been supporting the movement for so long. Uh, big up to Kino Stacks. Yeah. Uh, my homies, Little Sean, all the people that continuously support us and push us and drive us and contribute, you know, come out to the shows and, and just and everybody. I just want to say thank you. coming up on next Monday. We got one more, yeah, one more weekend, one more show. But sign up through relationshipunleashed.com, the pursuit of happiness. There's going to be at number two vans, downtown Memphis, facing the riverfront, Mississippi River. It's going to be great, 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 great. The pursuit of happiness. Sign up. It's free. Relationshipunleashed.com. So, Damien, uh, why are we doing the pursuit of happiness? Uh, your video, your uh, uh, <laughs> Fix My Life thing you did the other night, whatever it's called. Uh, it's my life. Fix my life with Gwen, and uh, uh, was a prime example. She had about a, a thousand, a million, a trillion comments on why my relationship messed up, why my relationship messed up, and it was the same thing over and over and over. People putting happiness in these people that are dating, and when they break up, they get sad and depressed and all the above. So uh, we're going to talk about these things, grown folk conversation, mature conversation. And the words of Bobby Rudd, you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. So uh, we need to have these conversations to help better us as people so we can do and make our destiny that uh, God has created for us to make and achieve. So we got to be happy in order to do these things. It's nothing worse than a miserable person. I don't like nobody miserable and black and gloomy around me. Keep your mean, miserable self away from me. So uh, despite everything that's going on in the world, you still can be happy. Look at all the people in the world living today with uh, number 45 and all. We still have it. But nevertheless, we're going to talk about these things on next Monday. Yeah, you, you need to really invest in your happiness. I can't, I hate to have a uh, no blank. But uh, this week alone, we lost uh, the artist in the band. What was the band? Uh, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Yeah, in yeah. Lincoln Park. The lead singer oh, Chester. from Lincoln Park. Yeah. Chester. Uh, he committed suicide. So we always. Uh, equate money and fame would be the ultimate achievement for us and we spend all our time chasing that particular thing and that dream thinking that if we get it it's going to make everything in our life easier and it's going to solve all our problems well it's evident that, that that's not the case mm -hmm. because you have too many famous people uh, overdosing uh, getting struck out on drugs so it's not the money that's going to be the cure all to your problem or becoming famous or everybody know you if you can't handle it, then that's going to, going to complicate whatever you did dealing with before you got that particular thing. So the uh, pursuit of happiness, we're going to, we're going to just introduce some a perspective, some different perspectives for you to think and also challenge what you believe right now because you need to have your beliefs challenged so that you can become a 360 degree thinker. And we, are, we, we do this for the, for, for the community, it's through our nonprofit. We are uh, open for taking donations. You can donate on our uh, page at Relationship Unleashed. It's tax deductible so that we can continue to do our work. We give back to the community. We give free food, free refreshments. We're in a nice venue. We can't do this without the community support because then we go away from, I look around to my left and I look to my right. There aren't any uh, other organizations out there that are really, really uh, geared toward the LGBTQ community in the black community. I'm gonna put it out there, I'm gonna say it. You got some organizations, but that's not their handle. We specifically say we're here for the LGBTQ community. That's what our lane is, that's what we driving on. We don't try to go in none of the other lanes because that's not our lane. We're in here for seminars, workshops, empowerment uh, 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 events. And that's what we host, that what we do, cultural diversity, that's what we do. Uh, life coach, behavior modification, personal development, that's what we do. Relationship on this. We want to see you next Monday. I'm going to be in Nashville if anybody is in the field. I'm going to be there for Encore Pride, hanging out with Lori Bones. 
Next weekend, I'll be there Friday and Saturday. I'm a volunteer for Sister Reach, and I'll be there speaking on, on behalf of their initiative, Boy Talk and Uncle Pride. I'll be in Nashville, baby.